Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, I've had a few requests about my impressions and what I think of the news that's been going on on several tech sites, actually, where there's rumors that Apple or Samsung, and there was also rumors, we talked about it a few weeks back, of Qualcomm buying Intel. And, um, you know, the more you look into it, the less it's probable that any of that will ever happen because of their, of, of one, of the politics and of two of their respective positions as to what they're doing. If you think about it, there's no real need for anything Intel from Apple that anyways makes its own chips. Um, Qualcomm would be interested in Intel for what? Um, it's, you know, they're making ARM chips, they're making different things. Samsung, um, they're not really using Intel, you know, CPUs, they're using other stuff. But the most important thing, the most important reason why Intel would not be purchased by all three of them here is also because of the manufacturing. Intel is pretty much the only one that makes all of its chips and everything within the United States. And Apple, Qualcomm, and Samsung all produce chips outside. They have some manufacturing going in the U.S., but the majority of it is done every, somewhere else. So, you know, in terms of politics and logistics, there's no sense in that. Um, Intel, would they want to get purchased uh, by uh, another company? I'm not sure. I mean, they're in uh, financial... A uh, little, little bit of financial difficulty. They did fire, you know, more than 100,000 people to save money. Yet, um, there's not, you know, they're not in back bankruptcy or anything. They're not, uh, they're, they're, you know, in, in having issues with, you know, sales and money. And they've had a hard time with making their processors better. But I don't think they're in uh, trouble that, you know, would require them to be purchased by anybody else. So I think it's not something that's going to happen. I think that, you know, for the most part, it's um, unfounded rumors. And um, actually, if you start looking at all the tech journalists... Uh, a big chunk are jumping on the, the news here of this, but um, the real serious journals are all like, mm, nah, that's not going to happen. So uh, we'll see. But I, I'm also in the, I'm the, uh, I'm in the, and it's not going to happen uh, kind of uh, phase here. I think Intel still has a lot to grow also um, with their manufacturing process. Uh, yeah, you know, one of the biggest problems right now with manufacturing of chips and especially for Intel, is that from generation to generation, you see very little difference in performance. It has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, what we've seen in huge performance differences in the past is going to be much, much more difficult today because we've kind of stretched the transistors and the electronics to a limit where it's almost impossible to do better right now except, you know, just finding something new. So uh, I think, you know, with the, up, the, the uptick in PC sales and all of that, I think, you know, 2025 might be actually a little better for Intel. And we'll see what happens next. But um, no, nope, I don't think that's going to happen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.